Hi, I'm Gabby from Ray Studios, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Momax Tripod Pro 6. Let's go ahead and unbox it. This is the presentation of the box. Out! Then we get this box. Out. And then we get the carrying case with the tripod inside and this shoulder thing to hang it from the side. And let's try it out. Nice. Gay. Really gay. But nice. Actually, I'm very surprised with the quality in general about this. Um, this is, I don't think it's leather, but it looks like leather and everything is really well done. And it's also very small. So let's take this tripod out. Inside we get the tripod. And we have a holder mount and nothing else out of this. So this is a tripod. So the particular um, about this tripod is that it's very small yet very strong. So you can put either a phone or you can put something like a, a small DSLR camera. Um, it is really small, it feels really good, it's very light. Just to give you a comparison between this and my travel tripod. So this is, this upper ties at travel friendly, it's supposed to be small and light. Check this out. It's like half the size, half the weight. So very, very impressive. And, and the quality feels better on almost, on almost every aspect. The only difference between these two, this will only extend to 100, yeah, 130 centimeters, while this one only go to 165 centimeters. So this is a little bit taller. It does something you are into it. Um, this is a little bit shorter. You could think about that if that's an issue for you. But anyway, let's go back to this one. Let's open it up. It opens really easy. Boom, boom, boom. Open. So let's put a phone on it. So I'm gonna get my Huawei P10. Let's screw this up. Let's put a phone. And there you have it. This could be regulated in height. One thing that I love about this tripod that my other travel tripod cannot do is that you can pan. Now you can only pan, you have markings. So you can know from where to where you wanna pan and it's very smooth, it turns really smooth. So it's kind of like a photography tripod. They have the ability to do pannings. That's something that with this tripod right here, let me show you. <clears throat> now this feels so big. To show you how the head will not really rotate. To make it rotate, I need to lose this, which also lose this, and now it rotates, but this is loose, so not very useful, I think. So this one can do it, while well, this is still very solid. That's, that's really cool. So what I said before, you can also hold on to something bigger like a small DSLR mirrorless camera. So just for the sake of it, I'm gonna try it with, um, hold on, I go get a camera. So it's holding pretty well. Now I went a little bit overboard with this one because I know this is a big camera for this tripod, but they claim to be able to support up to 10 kilos for such a small, tiny, lightweight tripod, this is very impressive. And to be honest, I can put my A7R2 here, no problem. It's not bending over, um, it's holding pretty well. I can still do panning for videos. How sweet is that? So let's pan this to see how long it can go. Here we go. I want to imagine now it's not so stable. Let's see that. Not right there, but yes, you can mount a full frame mirrorless camera with a battery grip and a full frame lens. So yeah, it's not very stable. Like I say, not right there to do that, but you could if you want. You know, if you're on a travel, and like me, I, I used to travel a lot, and then I go to different cities, and maybe I like to do a review while I'm in another city, and. This could be my solution. That's actually what I bought this thing. And still you can do, uh, when you're doing video, it looks like I didn't adjust this one. What's going on? 
Oh, okay, it's like this. Here we go. So yeah, this is just like this, the same as the legs, and this one move up and down from here. And the cool thing about it is that you can do panning when you're doing bee rolling, you do bee roll footage. It's kind of like a really cool little tripod, and this is strong enough, you will take it. It will take the, the kind of use that I want to use it for. Uh, considering how small it is, this is pretty cool. Another cool feature of this tripod is you can turn it into a monopod. You can remove one of the legs, the one with the grip, extend it to the other side lens, and then you can remove the head of this tripod. Let me see if I can. There we go. Just put it in here. You basically put your phone or camera, you adjust this to your desired position, and voila. You get a selfie stick or a monopod for, for shooting video. And that's, that's really useful. That's really cool, you can walk around. And then it, it can get into like a really long selfie stick. That's pretty long. Or you can use it as a monopod for shooting video and getting very stable footage. So you have the panning system here, as well as the movement that you get from the monopole. So that is pretty cool. Well, anyway, I hope you, you like this video, you like this tripod. Uh, the price is a little bit expensive. Um, it's more expensive than my travel tripod, which is stronger, but you gotta take it. It's very good quality and it has some really cool features. If you like this video, please, Comment, like, share and subscribe.